Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Noltemeyer and I'm a professional dancer, but I also own a children's theater program here in Orlando, Florida. So my specialty is helping intermediate to advanced theater students improve their dancing abilities and just their overall physicality while they're on stage. So today we are talking about body alignment. Body alignment is super important. Our acting comes from our posture, right? You can't act only with your facial expressions, with your face, with your words. You have to also use your body. Because if we are on stage and, and you're singing so big and beautifully, but your posture is like this, it doesn't connect. It's really confusing and you can't confuse your audience. Thou shalt not confuse thy audience. Body alignment is very important because it helps tell our story. And for me as the casting person behind the table, I know that I can trust you to make good choices while on stage. That means that you're starting to understand your body, that you'll know how to get from over here and to that, to your new blocking spot without looking crazy. So let's talk about our body alignment. Okay, so we wanna make sure we're stacking our body. Have you seen a skeleton? Their body is stacked. Their bones go right on top of each other because that is our anatomy. So it is better for us to give into our correct anatomy than to go against it and then cause long-term injury down the road. So a lot of us already are getting pretty bad posture right in here from being on our screens. I know it's a lot of this work and um, or here, but it's our job as performers, as students, as human beings to fight that. Okay, because we know that this isn't good posture. So we have to, when we're not at the computer, fight that. And that's how you're going to stay healthier longer. So in order to do that, I want you to roll your, because we're probably here right now, I want you to roll your shoulders up, back, and down so that we're leading with our heart. It might feel weird. You might feel like you're sticking your chest out, but that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, so again, let's roll those shoulders up, back, and down into your scapula. We don't want to be here. So those shoulders press down. Our shoulders are in line. And then now we want to take and put the rest of our body in line too. It's because we don't want to have our tushy behind us or our knees crazy or this crazy stance I keep seeing so much of, which I don't know what that is other than I have to go to the bathroom. So let's make sure that we our feet are in alignment. So let's call it just a nice parallel first position open a little bit hip width apart and then those knees are over the toes we don't want here anything in case we do have knock knees this is a challenge we're going to have to start overcoming so our toes move forward our knees can bend right over those toes our hips can bend just straight up and down and our shoulders are rolled back up back and down into our scapula and here we are standing confidently and comfortably. And like this, we can still move and we can sing and use our arms, but we're not here. Make sense? So I want to make sure where you are at home, find your posture, even if you're sitting in a chair. So roll those shoulders up, back and down so we have good posture with our upper body. This exudes confidence. This exudes nothing nothing um but bad posture you're going to start growing this hump right here and you're um you're working your front muscles but you're not working any of your back muscles here so it will take you some time especially if this is a new concept for you so i highly recommend when you're when you're just waiting somewhere hours at a time start to think about it or maybe even get yourself a posture strap i have good posture and i have a posture strap because I sit at the computer for many hours a day and I don't want to have a hump, <laughs> do you? So um, we wear that posture strap to remind us of this position. It gets a little sore, but the, like I said, that's also gonna start forming some back muscles, which is good. Yeah, we like to form some muscles in our body. And, um, and then you're, like I said, on the stage, you're going to exude the confidence you're really looking for. Even let's say, even if you're not playing a confident character, let's say you're playing the, the witch in Into the Woods and she's maybe kind of 
what's a word for this? Haggity? Is that a word? Like, I don't know. Okay, so maybe she's here. You still have to know the, physic the physicality of this position so that it's not just slouched and untrained, okay? Because then even then later she becomes, you see her as this beautiful, confident witch, right? You have to understand the physicality of it to tell the story, to be the character, because you can't just be you on stage. I mean, you can, but you're not gonna get anywhere, right? We're here to get better. You're here with me because you wanna get better. And step number one is fix that posture. So again, let's roll those shoulders up, back and down. I'm gonna challenge you to set a timer right now for 10 minutes and just whatever you're doing, you can do a lot of stuff while you have good posture, but try to maintain it for 10 minutes. See if you can do it. And then if you can, try and push your timer out longer. But we're working that body alignment. So again, we're stacking the body, toes, knees over the toes, hips over the knees, um, shoulders over the hips, rolling those shoulders up, back and down. And our head is also lifted because this would be out of alignment. See that nice straight line? And from here, you can use your arms, you can step out, and you can give your regards to Broadway. You can do a lot of stuff. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.